Perhaps the most recognizable piece of equipment on the football field is the helmet. And while its top priority is player safety, coming in at a close number two is making them look good. And on this episode, we're at the campus of UNLV to see how their football team makes and prepares their game day helmets. I'm Leland, and welcome to Sports Dissected, the series. Hey guys, so I'm here with Josh, the maestro, the man behind the magic, behind the helmets. I'm gonna build some helmets today, right? Yeah. Definitely wanna get into it. You guys have a lot of flavors, a lot of different combinations. I wanna talk about that, ask a couple questions while we're building it, and then, you know, see who builds the best helmet. Maybe, you know, put, some, put a wager on it. Who has the best looking helmet, you know? Sounds good. I mean, your territory, let's say a uh, loser has to run the whole football field. You about it? Deal. Let's do it. Stage one. I'm looking at a shell. How do they select which brand of helmet they want to play in? You know, it's what they want to wear, but it also comes down to if it fits properly. They might want to wear one helmet, but it doesn't fit as well as this one. We want to make sure they have the best fit for safety purposes. Have you ever had a, a challenge where a guy was coming in, used to wearing one type of helmet, and then you guys didn't have it in stock? How did you guys take care of that? You know, we accommodate for them. Previously, we've had guys that, you know, want to wear a certain type of helmet that we might not have had at the time, but uh -huh. we're uh, definitely going to bring it in for them. It fits what fits them the best. So you, you've been here for how long? This be uh, going on a full year. and Been around football for how long? my whole life. How has the helmet changed since you first started to what we're looking at now, what we're building? It's leaps and bounds from where it was. You know, you're going from the old school shut where, you know, it was a bladder system inside to having the more of the components now, you know, it's definitely more elaborate. You gotta have the flex here. You're gonna have the reciprocals already in there. It's all gonna be quick release. So you're gonna wanna pick a mask. So I have, what is this, four different types? Four different types, kind of all of our skill masks that we have. These two are more of the I would say the favorites. So you're gonna use the clips here. Flat goes against the helmet, right? Yep. Okay, got it. I guess I'll build this one. What, you already have tools, dude? Come on, like what? <laughs> I got screws. <laughs> How often do you guys prepare the helmet? Every week before every game, or is it? Definitely. You know, after we wear a helmet, I try getting them done, you know, that Sunday, Monday, that way they're ready to go for the next time we wear that helmet. We couldn't do what we do without our student managers. I'm glad we didn't do a speed test because I'm still on the uh, clipping my uh, my first clips on. <laughs> so about roughly how many uh, student managers do you guys have? We have uh, 10 to 12. Some of the kids that have been here have been here for years. Finally have the claps on. I'm not running the field, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> so when you get to this part, you're going to use the, just push that pin in. Okay. And then you're going to hear it click. What are some of the fan favorites in the uh, combinations? I think the one that we're building is a good one. The all white definitely is one. The anthracite just being a new color to us, I think it's always one of those as well. So you got the team, you guys are building the mask together. How long does that process take? You know, it just depends on what we got going on that day with season and stuff like that. What color we're going to wear if we're fully redecaling or if it's just going to be fixing the beat up ones. It just depends on what we're actually doing. So obviously you guys have the new coach, Coach Arroyo. How did uniforms and jerseys and stuff kind of change since he's been here? Is it been more of a precedence with him coming from Oregon? Yeah, I think so. You know, we've gone with the chrome mass. They've had the red chrome here, but we've gone with the true silver chrome. Change the decals, change the colors, a little bit of everything. You know, it's look good, feel good, play good. So we've got the mask on. Stage one, done, mask. Did it all by myself. Nah, appreciate <laughs> it, you helped me. So we'll start decaling it up. Obviously for the different styles, different stickers are all the same, but this one doesn't fit that one, vice versa. So this front will go on. Then we'll heat it up with the hair dryer over there. Okay. How many players are on the team? 105. So you do this for 105 helmets every week? Yeah. We won't dress 105 though every week. Okay, got it. Thank goodness, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. So then we'll flip it around and do the back. So you saw on that one, if you line up on the side. Okay. See how it kind of goes with it. It should fit all the way across that way. Glad you tell me after I mess it up, bro. <laughs> and then that same thing, we'll heat that up to make sure it really sticks down. Don't rush perfection. Nope, you can see it you know, mold into that bumper as well. Oh, yeah, it's real smooth. All right, so it's starting to come together. Yep. I'm seeing it. So then I always work from the back to the side. The Las Vegas sign would be my next one. I love this decal. So I line mine up with, you can see that line? Right down the middle? Yep, so the point of that should line up with that. Viva Las Vegas. You picked 21. I did. 
Tell the truth. Have you ever got the numbers mixed up? No. No, never. No. Okay. Obviously make sure it's straight up and down. I'll make sure the, the bottoms match up. So I'm gonna go to the Mountain West sticker, which is gonna go to the left of the numbers. And then we'll go with the American flag. It's gonna stack the warning label. All right, got it. So I line it up to the side. Right. And now the back of the helmet is done. So now is when I'll heat it all up. So then we'll move to the side. On this one, I always line it up at that point and then the arch will touch the top of that. And you can heat it up as you go, it'll go on better. So then we'll do the same thing. Obviously, it's gonna be the U, the point of that U. Okay. Do you ever watch games and like look at the helmet like, wait, the number is off on that helmet? All the time. Okay. <laughs> I think, you know, when you do it day to day and this is what you do is, it's hard to watch a game normal now. Uh-huh. You know, you see you see everything. It's like the tagline with Sports Dissected. You never see it the same. Yeah. <laughs> so it's complete. Now you want the visor on there. What we're gonna do is, it's gonna slide in now. It's a little easier if we did it before. Uh -oh. The mask is just gonna go like that. But we're gonna use these clips. And then what this will do is it'll open up and it just screws in. It's game day, baby. Check mine out. Critique it. Critique it hard. What you got? You can be honest, man. This one's a little, little forward, but still looks good. Come on, you gonna do me like that? <laughs> you told me to critique you. Good. You're right, you're right, you're right. Outside of that, what you give it? Between one and two. Two. A two? It's my man. Today, the UNLV helmet was dissected. Who knew so many steps to making this masterpiece? But now let's try it out. Ready? When it comes to locker rooms, it's only two types of people. There's everyone else, and then there's Shield Locker. Since 2014, Shield's number one priority has been to disrupt all industry standards by blurring the line between traditional function and modern masterpiece. With their use of non-traditional materials such as solid surface, they're able to set their clients' imagination free. The Brooklyn Nets and Kansas Jayhawks trusted them, and you should too. Visit shieldlockers.com to unlock your dreams. But beware, because this isn't your father's locker room. <laughs>